Dr. Orton is here to reveal how to get a red carpet look for a lot less. That's Sorry right, Dr. That. Travis. I'm going to give you some tips to get you red carpet ready. You may actually strike yourself <laughs> here. And I'm second, all ears. To help me is my favorite medical esthetician, <laughs> Kelly. She is back. And we're going to start off... There's some tips, and you know, the, the, the Academy Awards were here in Los Angeles, and I, I, certain people there on the red carpet really jumped out at me how great they look. So we're going to start with Natalie Portman. How great did she look? And the first thing that jumped out at me was that flawless, dewy skin of hers, yes, right? Yes. Well, I came up with something that we're going to give you that same flawless, dewy look, but for a lot less money. It's the red <laughs> velvet facial. Yes. You know how red velvet cake is the rage right now? So we're actually creating our own little red velvet cake and applying it to our lovely model here. Mm -hmm. What is your name? Laura. Laura, you're in for a treat. What we don't put on your face, we're going to eat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Kelly, run through this. So the first step, we're, we're using our berry puree, right? Yes, it's a mixture of berries that we've pureed, and I'm adding to that a teaspoon of cocoa. And cocoa is great for preventing dehydration and getting that dewy look that you were talking about. The berries have a little fruit acid in it, and you've heard me yes. say it over and over again. It all starts with a little exfoliation, so we're doing a light fruit acid peel with right. and the sugar in there with a little bit of microdermabrasion because it's a little bit rough. Exactly. You want to use that really coarse brown sugar because mm -hmm. that's going to give you a better exfoliating factor. Brown sugar. So we're going to mix yeah. all that up. And later on, I'm going to show you all my tiger blood facial. <laughs> <laughs> so this is step one. Yes, and super easy. Just take a little brush and apply it to the face. Now, you know, you'll notice here that I have a towel underneath her because it is a little bit messy, but that can be fun. So we're going to brush that on. And like then an egg. <laughs> what I like to do to really get the exfoliating thing going is to use your hands and just really massage this in. And don't be afraid to get aggressive because you want to be more aggressive because that's going to stimulate blood circulation, which in turn helps to give you that overall improved tone color and texture. And you see us do this all the time. You know what, if it's good enough to eat, it's going to be good for your skin. People think if it's safe for your stomach, it's also going to be safe on that tissue on your skin. So step one, now step two, right. what do we have to do? Well, we have to put some good stuff into the skin and seal it with a moisturizer. You so what's it. next, Kelly? So step two is we're going to take some beaten egg whites. And it's great because these egg whites have protein. So of course, we want to get protein into the skin. We're going to add that to some whipped cream cheese. And please make sure you whip this cream cheese because it is not easy to spread cream cheese. Again, you're just going to brush this right onto the skin, okay? And with this cream cheese, this cream cheese, again, with the protein, it's very hydrating. So leave this on for about 20 to 25 minutes and then just wash it off. Your skin is soft, it feels smooth, it's yummy.